We have been talking about ChatGPT now for over a year, and you're probably like, you know what, Carrie, I am ChatGPT'd out. <sighs> but since I've been using a lot of the extensions, I figured I would share this with you. So I am going to just show you the basics of ChatGPT and what it looks like for most of us. Here it is. So when you log into ChatGPT, this is typically what you're seeing. You have your basics. And if you missed the video on ChatGPT basics, go here, watch that video, and then come back to this one. Or watch it after this, after you, after I show you some of the cool extensions, or at least the one I'm going to share with you today. So let's go over to, let's hop over to, you know, what my ChatGPT web browser actually looks like. Let's see, where are we going? Okay, so I'm the person that likes to try new extensions and I've been using this extension for a while, but I typically was using public. And you're like, well, Carrie, what do you mean? So this one that I added is actually by, it's powered by maxai.me. So I am, first thing, first things first, you're gonna wanna log into Google Chrome. And then once you're in Chrome, hop over to the Google extensions, or you can simply go to maxai.me. And then you can add to Chrome, but you know, pretty much at no cost. I'm, there's always a reason to upgrade, but we're just gonna go with the basics. So once you add this to ChatGPT, you're gonna see that you have the ability to look at all categories, meaning, you know, ideation, operation systems, hot copywriting, Generative AI, productivity, social media, like SaaS. Now you got me really, you got me thinking because I'm the one that really likes predictive analytics. When I'm ready to make your heads hurt in real estate, I'll come back to that one. But here's what I want you to do. Here, here's what I want you to see is because I've been using this for a while, you can see that I have auto mid journey prompt. I have strategy for keywords. You can also see that I have human style rewriter. This is because these are the places that I've been hanging out. But I figured what I would do is show you under. So, of course, you can have favorites. You got public and your own. I don't have my own here on purpose because we're going to do this together and we're going to make it pretty quick. So I have. Um, let's see. Let's go open one of my one of my other windows. So this is a download that I give you if you're over here. If you're on Instagram, I'm Carrie Jo Little, J-O-L-I-T-T-L-E. I figured you know how to spell Carrie, but C-A-R-R-I-E-J-O-L-I-T-T-L-E. So if you hang out, if you go over to Instagram, I do have a reel where you can download my three prompts to generate real estate leads. So this is what I'm going to do pretty quickly. And so you can get that when you create prompts, I'm the person that has prompts in Google Docs. I have one for um, data example because I use a tool called InfoSparks. I also have one for data-driven success. You name it. I've got a listing magnet strategy. I've got prompts everywhere. And I've got it in Canva. And I figure now I can actually put my prompts here on ChatGPT. So let's go back to my download. Here it is. And we're going to highlight this one. And then we'll come back over to ChatGPT, add a prompt. And let's see, we're going to title it. We'll call this one my data prompt. And then we'll paste this. Now, you, before I even use the prompt, I will always come back here and change the city. So I can put in my name because I'm the author. I can add um, my URL. Maybe I want to add my free giveaway or maybe I just want to add my website. So I'll just add smartgirlmedia.com. As an instructor, I'm smartgirlmedia.com. Um, and then I can add a variable. So I'll call this my data prompt with info sparks. So I've just created my own prompt and now I can save it. Whoops. Once my HTTP. Save prompt. Oh, 
you know, this is me. So I'm learning this just like you because I haven't used it yet. So here we go. We're going to call this my template uh, data. Data prompt. Using MLS data. Info sparks. Info sparks. Um, we have it in Illinois. I know you have it in South Florida. I know you have it in Georgia, but it might be called market view owned by showing time. So there we go. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And there we go. Boom. We got a prompt. So I'm just going to challenge you. I figured I'd come and make a quick video as I was learning it so you can go and test this out. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Type them in the feed. Um, is there something you want to learn? Is there something you want, you want me to show you as a real estate agent, as a real estate agent, broker owner, designated managing broker in Illinois and in Florida? What do you want to learn from me? Let's make it easy because I am convinced that if you learn, you can earn. So learn to earn with me, whether it's ChatGPT or generating new business, closing the deal, or even if you're a new real estate agent. If you didn't watch that basics video on ChatGPT, again, go here. And then if you want me to show you how you can create content in bulk using ChatGPT and Canva, go here. I'm Carrie Little. Join me on Instagram. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and invite a friend.